Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you are easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to do today is I want to expose certain behaviors in our community because for some reason, modern women, black women in particular, would love to hold themselves up as angels on a pedestal and would like for you to believe that they cannot do any wrong. So what I'm going to do is show you their ghetto etiquette. In other words, their ghetto decorum. Layman's terms, their poor behavior out in public. Now, I have a video of a woman talking about her vagina itching and I have to call the police on her. And I got an old grandma wearing a hair bonnet about to go left and put her hands on a dollar store worker. For some reason, this stuff happens in the dollar store all the time. Now, let me go ahead and get into this um, video, ladies and gentlemen. You let me know what you think about it, you hear? I'm telling you now, ma'am, you need to open the door. I'm listening. I'm the door. Come on, Red. Please get out of this. Can you please call the police? Well, y'all call the police because I'm telling you, look, you said I stole something. I put something down here, baby. I was digging in my tail. That's what I was doing. I was digging down here. I'm going to show you. I was digging. I got a pad on. I ain't put nothing down here. Now y'all finna get in trouble. I'm going to be real with you, man. Like, that masculine energy, that masculine voice, she sound like a dude, man. She sound like a dude. I mean, she got a, a nice butt or whatever like that. She ain't bad looking in the face, man. But that cancels out. You get what I'm saying? When you start sounding like a dude, when you start sounding like that right there, that's a big turnoff, man. And see, look how loud they are. Look how loud these women are. Why? And show the police the camera. I was digging in my tail. That's what I was doing, digging. You finna go to jail. I was digging. I got a hole I want to show you. Man, I, man what, what's good? I, I'm recording this one so you can have for your uh, evidence. But please keep recording. And please send that to me, boo. Mm -hmm. Because I already know why she's doing it. Mm -hmm. She don't like me. Because mm -hmm. she knows I'm never good for the man before her sister. Mm -hmm. Boo. All about her husband behind mm -hmm. Billy. Girl, Billy Jean. Girl. Jean Davis. Uh, mm -hmm. All about a man. Mm -hmm. That I ain't met with in over 10 years. Baby, move. Baby, move, baby. Baby, move, please. The police taking forever to get him. No, you need to move from this door. You're locking me in here. Somebody I stole something. What I like. But what did I steal? What did I steal? Why was you digging down there, ma'am? Because I'm out there and my coochie was itching. And I have a right to scratch it because I'm grown. And I have a whole damn pen, a lot of pad. It didn't look like you were scratching out. I know what I was doing, baby. There ain't nothing down there, is it? Is there something down there? Now look at this. This woman going to pull up her skirt a little bit to try to show. Now this is a public place. This is in Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. We have Dollar Store where I'm at, Dollar General and Family Dollar. I don't know what y'all have in the different states and cities that you're in, but they all pretty much the Dollar Store, you know what I mean? And she's doing this. Man, it's crazy. What I was doing, baby, ain't nothing down there, is it? Is there something down there? Drove! They don't know what it is. It don't matter, y'all finna get it. Okay, that's the first one. I have a little, a tiny plethora of outrageous clips about how this ghetto etiquette, this ghetto decorum is ruining the black woman's image as well as the black man's. See, black women don't understand, y'all also have an image. Although y'all seem to be so concerned and obsessed with ruining ours, y'all are ruining yours. I mean, yourselves. There we go. Watch grandma go off. I have a problem with your attitude you and then you come behind me with an attitude. You don't have a right to. I eat your little ass up in here. She says she would eat her little butt up in here. Now, I want you to see how old this woman is. She's like she ever been in her 50s or something like that with her hair bunnied on. Almost look like she may be, I don't know. I can't really tell if she's um heterosexual or lesbian, but it could be the on that because she's just a big girl. But there's, why don't y'all have better conflict resolution skills or soft skills or... How come you don't know how to just talk things out, even when the situation is uncomfortable? Why do you always resort to raising your voice, becoming disrespectful, and threaten people with violence? It's the same thing like you do in relationships with men. You raise your voice. You Sometimes some of you act like you're going to threaten to do this or that to men. It just, where is this coming from? I eat your ass up, you disrespectful little bitch. Yeah, because she being disrespectful. Now I ask for a change, and if I'm not kissing my mother, I'll beat your little ass up. And wait on the police. And wait on the police. Everybody black don't have a criminal record, little girl. I'll beat your ass up. 
Now I want you to see there's a little child there, right? That's her child. And she's behaving, well, I don't know if it's her child per se, but that child is with her. But she's acting like this in front of a kid. What that child gonna grow up when it, what's that child gonna be when they grow up? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See how disrespectful to him? She want a motherfucker to drag her out of here and beat her goddamn ass. That's what she want. She want a motherfucker to drag her ass out. And what you gonna do about me, see the boo? She just shoved the little child out the way so she can continue to act belligerent. She want a motherfucker drag her ass out. And what you gonna do about me, see the boo, bitch? What you gonna do? Now she's all in her face, all in her face. Now, if that little girl, I don't know what the problem really going on. They just, I just know this is being handled the wrong way immaterially. If that little girl was to sh do something to her unexpectedly, it could be self-defense because she's. Do y'all need to think when you're out there acting so tough? This goes for the men too. When you're doing all that putting your chest out, bumping your gums, yelling at the top of your lungs and stuff like that. The person that you think may be afraid of you or the person that you think ain't going to do nothing to you, as soon as you get close enough like this lady right here, they can say that they was in fear of their lives because everyone saw you yelling. Everyone saw you being threatening. So if they do something to you, they most likely will get away with it because you look like the aggressor, because you look like you're about to go attack that person. You need to get your egos out the way and start thinking sensibly because this is crazy. And she's too old to be acting like that. She's acting like she's in high school or junior high about to fight on the playground yard or something, man. Or she acting like she's in uh, on the yard in the prison about to shank somebody. Come on, man. What the fuck you gonna do? That's what you do? The fuck you gonna do? Bitch! And I keep thinking about that little child witnessing all this. So if this is how this grandmama or whatever she is acting, I want to know how her daughter act. I can only imagine what the family is like that that little child is growing up in. That child going to be running the streets like a thug, man, because this is what they're going to be putting into their child from their examples and their words, man. They're teaching. What she's doing right now is teaching that little boy that if you have a problem with anybody, any type of um, conflict, do not be afraid to use violence. Do not be afraid to disrespect them. Get up in their face, cuss them out, threaten violence to them. This is what you're showing them. You don't have to say, hey, sit down, let me teach you how to be violent. All you have to do is be an example of violence to a little child, and they will soak that up like a sponge, and that behavior will become their behavior. What you gonna do? Bitch! The fuck you gonna do? But keep the fucking call them, ho. I don't gotta prove a record, bitch. They gonna take, they gonna take you, ho. You're spitting in my fucking face. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm certified, ho. I'm a certified motherfucker. I'm a level three I'm security, bitch. You're still here. You're you going, going to jail, ho. Hey, I'm a level three bitch. security, bitch. You're going to jail. Boring ass bitch. Now remember now, ladies deserve our protection. We're supposed to protect that. Now that little girl knew some kind of super duper karate and start whooping her tail she'll be looking at the men like why you ain't help me so y'all attitudes and your mouths get you in a whole lot of trouble lady i think they used to say um what they used to say your mouth is writing checks that your butt can't cash and a lot of times you see this over and over and over again over and over again Girl, let's go back to what you see. I don't know what's going on for a lot of people. Shit. I don't know what tells you that, but you need to come through. She said, my dumb ass bitch. Come through. She said, my dumb bitch. You got a job. You got a job. You got a job. Why? Why be so loud? Why? Why? Just give her the money. Oh, oh my God. If you so mad, put your hands on her. I mean, I don't promote violence, but why are you turning up the dollars, though, to show how mad you are? We already understand that you're mad, okay? Oh my God. Oh my God. She already broke up my Oh do something I so see just do your job, get her out. Do the job, Do the job, man! Child!
Chelsea? Chelsea, Heidi, she don't want none of this. This bitch is wild. She was insane. <laughs> Chelsea, to say that. She is trying to whoop some woman named Chelsea that worked there. Chelsea, to say that. Chelsea, where are you? Oh my God, I'm dying. This is so funny. Man, now remember now, we got to protect them. Because they are always on their best behavior. Chelsea says she didn't want none of that. I wouldn't want none of that either. That is just insane to me. I want you to notice how many times I'm pulling up dollar store footage. I don't know why, but a lot of it's in dollar store. I got some, you know, Walmart especially, but it's crazy. y'all think y'all did something that's what i thought and walk off like a peacock you know what i mean all pride or something you didn't do nothing but make yourself look like a fool man see i know people that if they really want to touch you they'll touch you at your job they'll they'll yoke you you know what i mean across that counter as a clerk i mean if you really want it it can get got you know what i mean but all this mouth now i'm gonna play something that has no sound are you gonna hear me talking or my music it's gonna be some um young women fighting in the mall just fighting see <laughs> It's crazy. Now check this out. There you go. They fighting in front of um K Jewelers. I can't bring the screen up no bigger. Now these are some young women, man, fighting in the mouth. And you wonder why people look at us or our women as if they are like animalistic. Why so much violence in your heart? They are immature. They are very immature. And like I just showed you that old lady at the dollar store trying to fight a old a young girl. They don't they never grow up. They're like Peter Pan, never, never land. They never grow up. They never grow up. You should be ashamed of yourselves, man. And look, they're in their pajamas and stuff in the mall and stuff, looking dingy. You know, you got to have a hair bun somewhere. There's that pink, loud hair over there. I mean, it's just ghetto and ratchet. When y'all, why won't y'all realize that this is um just ghetto? There's nothing cool about being ghetto. I know the rappers try to make it seem like it's cool. You get it from the mud and I'm from the hood and from the ghetto and stuff. But you ever ask yourselves how come these rappers and entertainers don't stay there? Soon they get a little money, they dip out. They just keep feeding you the poison that they know that you enjoy. They don't want no poison that either. They don't. That's very immature, man. Very immature. Got something else to show you. Before we get up out of here, one second. I'm trying to um, pull up the screen for you. But I'm saying, I just want to show y'all this, this ghetto, animalistic type of decorum that we see all the time now in our neighborhoods now. So this one's going to be a little bit funny. I hope y'all enjoy this. It's crazy. Let me just say it like that. Let's play it. Three drag queens jumped out of the car, ran into the restaurant armed with... Yes, she heard it. Three drag queens, three cross-dressing women. Let us continue. ...with a tire iron and started swinging at employees, but not before they disrobed, kicking off their stiletto boots, hoop earrings, and jackets. Oh, my fucking boots and earrings back, bitch. <laughs> uh, so they went in there and got naked with a crowbar and started swinging hoop earrings and jackets oh my fucking boots and earrings back bitch okay yeah and they just, just decided they want to uh... welcome to the jeremy hill show if you're easily triggered leave now <laughs> uh start a fight with the uh crew at mcdonald's here and they began to get ready to fight taking off clothes in the fight he swung hit my mountains and my mountain swung hit back so then when we started coming up so they fell back Get them taken out their shoes, boots, you know what I'm saying? Whatever else they had to do to feel satisfied to fight. 
Albert Bolton has band-aids covering scratches where one of the drag queens mauled him with his fingernails. And then he scratched me. About that time, the manager grabbed a pot of hot french fry grease and launched it at them. One of the drag queens retaliated, smacking the manager in the head with a wet floor sign. Cindy man, what the hell was going on at this McDonald's, man? Were the fries cold? Why y'all fighting it? Because the ice cream machine didn't work again? One of the drag queens retaliated, smacking the manager in the head with a wet floor sign, sending him away in an ambulance. Yeah, I fucked that manager up. Yes, I hit her with that wet floor sign. i do it again. She should not. Fuck that manager up. Yes, I hit her with that wet floor sign. I'd do it again. She should not have shorted me on my motherfucking fries. No, I'm a big girl. I likes to eat. Right. And before they drove off, they smashed in the drive through window. Whoa. All of that over oh, some damn fries. Shorten it on the... Yeah. Yeah, I hit her with that floor sign. You know, you better respect me. I'm a real woman. I'll show you what it is. You don't want me to throw these hands. Well... Let me go ahead and and think what the hell just happened. You know what I mean? I, I I don't understand. But like I say, I just wanted to show an example of why men are not choosing to really just protect a lot of these women because you're not giving us really anything to protect. You make yourselves look bad. And when you make yourself look bad, sometimes you make us look bad. All those type of behaviors that I just, just displayed is unacceptable. Very unacceptable. You know what I mean? There's no need for any of that stuff. Y'all are corrupting your spirits, corrupting your minds. Your, your morals are out the window. Your value system is piss poor. It seems like today's modern day woman, in my most humble opinion, is just filled with greed and hatred and ego. Those three things right there. Well, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, i see you soon. Take it easy. Excuse me, I know y'all waiting for this to go out, but I forgot to say that I have a live stream today, uh, 5.15 Central Standard Time. That is 5.15 Central Standard Time. Um, the topic would be um, that uh, I think it's modern women or black women are not the givers of life, I believe. So at 5.15 Central Standard Time, I will be having a live stream. I hope I get to see you there. Take it easy.